let's get started. My name is Christina Nelson. I'm a web designer and artist. I make designs on Squarespace and I sell them to clients. Usually they are businesses, but I can also do individual websites as well. This particular video is about how to modify this template that can sell one or more products. Very easy to modify, but if you're unfamiliar with Squarespace, sometimes it can be a little daunting. So I made a uh, little tutorial for you to, so you can go in yourself and quickly make modifications. There is a link in the description if you'd like to buy this template. It's for a very reasonable price. It includes a 20% off discount on the Squarespace annual plan. Let's get started. So when you first come to your template, right up here, you can click on edit. And here you can change this to be your own website company's name. You can also put a logo in there. So I clicked on edit, clicked over here, and then right over here where it says site title and logo, you can add your logo here. And you can also change the name of your website here. There's a number of other features down here as well. This is in related to um, different buttons, social links that you can include. Uh, if you have a cart button, as you can see right here, I have that on. You can turn that off if you'd like as well. But I prefer to have it on because I want to sell things. Let's go down to this part of the website. Here you can click on the text, just double click and you can change that to any words that you'd like. Same thing with any of these, just double click and start typing. You can change the font size here. So I have it on paragraph two. You could put it on paragraph three, which would be smaller. You could make it an another really big. You could make it huge. Okay, so you get the idea. You can make it whatever you like. Let's put it back to two. You can also um, take specific words and make it bold. So like up here, you could make it bold or not bold. You could make it italic and you could also make this a link. So if you have a specific, uh, you can name that that's the text there here. You can put whether it's a um, you want it to go to a web address, a file you want to put a, upload a file they can download if you want them to go to a specific page in your website. Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to click off of there, okay, to get out of that. Now, this particular um, layout can be changed right here. So I clicked off over here and then you click back on. Okay, right up here, this is the card design, but you could change it to any one of these. So let's say I did that, it's going to change it to this. You could change it to this and the, and the text would disappear a little skinnier. You could put this right here. Here I okay. have the title of my product and some other text. Of course, you can double click, make it your own text. And I also included these little links, learn more and buy. So if they wanted to purchase it right away, they can click on this buy button. If they wanted to learn more about it. They can click on the learn more, of course. I have a beautiful picture of the product. You can edit it here. So here's my product. When you get it, you can say replace and you can upload your own picture. You can also include a caption below and you could also make this a link. So same thing. You could, for example, put a web address right here uh, or you could put it a page here as well for it to go to close that. Uh, and but also, by the way, for SEO, search engine optimization, this is where, and I highly recommend doing this, you would change this to something like uh, arch mount. That's just an example. But it's just to show you these little things are really important because it helps Google find your website online. So this is the content part. You also have a design link right here. And you can do different things. Um, Again, we're not going to go over everything, but I do want to point out this specific thing down here, animation. If you, um, I have it on the site default, but if you want to kind of change the effect, I love reveal. I just think it looks really nice. 
You can also uh, do collide. Uh, so these little animations can really enhance your website design, give it a little bit more of a professional appearance. I'm going to click back. If you want to get off of this thing, just click on another part of the screen. All right, I'm going to continue to scroll down. Same thing, this uh, uh, whole thing can be clicked on right over here. You can change the design to one of these. I'm going to leave it here. Okay, and if you don't want this whole thing, you could also, of course, click on the little garbage can. I just clicked on the little pencil icon, and here is where you can replace this image. Again, you can put your SEO down here, and you can change the design also right here. Right. And I, th I think it's just a really great idea for people to give a personal message or leave some reviews by other people about their products. So I have a section where you can do that here. Just double click and put your own text. You can change these social icons simply by clicking on this and it will give you the option to change them and go directly to your specific um, business links. So I can say add social link. These are the designs that you can have. So basically this is where you would do that, okay? Uh, it, dis it disappeared, but if I just say discard changes, yep, discard. If you're all, anytime nervous about any changes, always just say cancel. So, so you can see it again, it's here. Um, again, you can click on this text to edit this. I do have a privacy policy page in terms of service page all set up for you. Uh, you do need to make it uh, catered directly for your own business, but it's set up so you can um, at least have them as placeholders and put in your own content. I have the navigation right here, and I have um, where you can have these links as well. So if you wanted to, for example, change this to your own uh, email address, you just select it, come over here, click on this little icon, and here you can put in your own email address, and here, click on this, and this is where you would put your own business email address. So when people click on that, it automatically takes them to their email where they can type you a message. All right, let's move on to uh, the product uh, page. So here is where this is the navigation link for your products. I have one product in my store right now. It's called Arch Mount. So I'm going to click on that. And here you have text that you can edit about your product. You have a picture that you can edit. So right here to upload your own picture, you come over here, click on the pencil, go ahead and say replace and put in your own picture. Again, smart thing to do to change this to your own specific product SEO. I put in another picture for showcasing your products. And here I have smaller product pictures. And again, you can just click on the little icon right here to replace these images. And I also put a little image right here of just some little icon that you'd like to put about your product. You can replace this with something. And as you know, you can just click on the text and put in your own. Same thing here, just click on the text, click on the pictures and replace them with your own. Here I have uh, a number of bullet points about your, your product that if, you, if you'd like to include them. And basically this whole um, uh, page is trying to really showcase the benefits of your product. So there's lots of opportunity to do that. Now you might be wondering about the colors um, and I'm gonna get to that. If you see an image, for example, you see that phone mount behind in this image, uh, you can replace that. And you can also replace, of course, the, the color and the links. So when you see a button, by the way, just click on the button, click on the little pencil. You can name the button here and right here, click on this little gear that opens up 
and you can either link it to a page by clicking on page and putting in a page from your website or you could also put it as a website address just copy and paste a website address into that link area I often like to turn the open in a new window for that so they can still go back to your site easily if they want to all right and let's just show you really quick how do you replace that image that's in the background you can go to I just kind of hovered over it you can say edit section and here you can click on background and there's an image here and you can say replace and that will replace it of course you can also put an image effect so if I click on that you can make it for example like this it kind of gives you a little bit of a preview see a little bit of dimension and there's a bunch of different ones my favorite one is the parallax which is right here so it just gives it a little movement in the background okay discard changes discard okay so that's how you replace the background image so this is a great page for showcasing your your product okay so let's go to the shop page and by the way you can go to your pages right here over here on the the left and you would go to that page simply by clicking on on the page so arch mount that's exactly where we are right now and we can click on shop and this is where you're going to be putting all of your products so when you want to add a new product this is where you do it just say add a product and then it will actually walk you through what kind of product do you want to sell so that is where that happens I have a physical product at the moment so you would I would click on this one I do have one completely set up for you and these little three uh, little dots right here you can click on that and you can send your your product you can move your products around um, and you can also click on edit and this is where you can put in the details of your product so the title of it a description the images you can click on this little plus and that will allow you to replace the images here you'll put in the price uh, I like putting the sale thing on and so I'm saying the sale price is 65 I turn this on you can toggle it on or off and that will put this little price here and by the way to change the, the price you just click on it it's that easy uh, you can put the stock the SKU if you'd like to have a, a custom one you can do that here you can also create categories and tags I did take this with arch mount and you can add another tag word here and again there's just so much to uh, the specific uh, selling the products but I'm not going to go over everything but for now you can know this is where you make modifications to your product description and when you're done remember to say save right up here in the right if you don't want a product you just click on the little delete button and if you want to duplicate a product you can click here and it saves you a lot of time if you have a very similar product so I'm gonna say cancel because I don't want to make any changes so if someone landed on this page they could click on this and it would bring them to the shopping page where they could check out so here is my little product page and I I like this layout because it really was easy for people to see the uh, images of the product quickly and easily I have a features section so you can say edit product um, and change more of the details there okay you can also edit the design so this is the layout that I chose but if you don't like it you can say edit design and you can make modifications okay so edit section edit product okay here I chose simple you can say wrap okay you can say full so see how it just kind of 
it just really makes the layout is completely customizable to whatever it is that you like I'm gonna leave it on simple and I'm just gonna say discard changes okay so that's the shopping page let's talk about the gallery page right over here I'm gonna click on arch mount and here uh, I have a whole section on you can really show what your product can do so I have in the kitchen a little description here and then I have a ton of pictures of uh, using the, this product so as you can see there's a lot of opportunity to put images if you're like well you know that's just way too many images for my product you can click on the edit button and where it says uh, edit section you can make modifications you can say remove and that will remove the entire chunk so like this entire chunk would disappear or this entire chunk would disappear the colors this dark against the light these are sections so where it says section just hover over it click remove and you can remove it if you want to move a section up above another section you can just click on these little arrows right here and if you want to duplicate a section you just click on this little button right here if you want to edit the gallery you just click on edit gallery and this is where you can add images so I would click on this little plus icon and I could add more images and by the way you can add descriptions to your images here as well and links okay and go to the top I did provide a little video section as well so if you click on the video page like if you I'm gonna say edit if you want to put a little video here you can just click on the video click on the pencil icon say replace okay and then you could upload your video here and this is where you can put that little thumbnail image um, so you have a nice image of your um, the video content okay. I have also a about page and this one's fairly easy to edit Just click on the text and you can go ahead and edit it and then I also have A contact page and here you can put in your little social icons again just click on it and you can make modifications I do want to point out this little form right here if you're a little nervous about uh, making edits to a form just click on that click on the little pencil icon and here you can put in the name of your form uh, the button I have it being send but you can say submit you could just change that if you'd like if you want to edit the form fields click on that and you can add fields down here uh, you could keep the current ones you can also delete the current ones so if I click on this little thing right here I could say delete field so let's say I said add field you have all of these options to add a field so I could say radio button and as you can see right down here it came up with a radio button to edit it I just click here and okay so edit form fields here's the radio button click on that and then you can click on this and put in your text you can put in your different options here so you can click on this and change the text and then of course if you don't want one you can just say delete field so and now there was something I wanted to make sure that I included oh post submit here you can put a little message uh, for people who write you a message and very important storage this is where you're going to be putting the email address of where to send your business so that would be right here 
You can also connect to a MailChimp, Zapier, or Google Drive uh, account. Okay. All right, I'm going to say discard changes, discard. Now, uh, I just wanted to very quickly show you on this part right here. You can say, if you would like to change the colors, you can say design, site styles, and right over here where it says font, you can, for example, say switch, and you can choose any one of these fonts. So let's just say I chose obviously wide. So as you can see, it changed the text over there. There's so many different options. And these fonts are really nice because they've been pre-approved uh, by professional designers. So you know that these fonts work really well with each other. So this kind of friendly little font works well with the um, smaller font. And I am definitely not going to use that font for this particular design. But that is where you would do that. So that's the fonts. If you want to change the colors, click on colors. And here's where you can edit your palettes. So I'm going to click on edit palette. I could choose, um, just for example, this pink one. Whoa. Color really makes a big difference in terms of how people feel about your website. So it's totally worth going through these different palettes that they have already set up to see if anyone would work well for your site. If you simply don't find anything that you like, you can actually create a color palette from an image by clicking from image and dropping in an image here. So you can click uh, here and upload an image. Um, you can also do it from a specific color. Um, so th the sky is, the, is just the limit in regards to how you'd like to choose the color for your website. You can also, so right up where my mouse is, you can see what the color is right here. And you can change this here as well so you can really customize how your site looks. So play around with the color palette editor. Let's say I, okay, this is, this is, this whole thing right here, by the way, is a section. So I'm going to click on edit section and here where it says background, I can put something here. I'm just going to click something random so you can see how it works. But let's say I said add image. So here is where you can add an image in the background just to kind of bring a little excitement to your design. I actually kind of like that. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, and you can also put in art here as well. You can put in a video. I have this on image and remember down here you can say image effect and then the image will kind of move around. So there's so many possibilities. And I also want to point out this colors. This is what we were talking about with the edit, uh, the palette, the color palette. You can change. So go ahead and watch the background. See if I click on one of these, the font is changing its color. Okay. And to show a little bit more of an obvious example, so I had, because I had chosen an image in the background, you won't see the color as much, but I can say edit. Okay. And let's, let's say I chose this one down here and I said edit section and I chose color. I can scroll down here and I can choose any one of these as my background. And they'll all look pretty nice. Okay? And again, I could add an image as well. So that is pretty much it that I wanted to show you in regards to how to make modifications on this um, 
template. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. Go ahead and shoot me an email, respond to me, and ask any questions that you may have. Again, I have a link to this template in the description. It includes a 20% off discount, and I just wish you very well on your uh, business enterprises. Thanks for listening.